Well, we're here at a little creek crossing we have to go over to get to our beautiful campsite at Pebbly Beach. It's not crop country, so Robin's already walked over. We know it's not deep, so we don't need a radiator blind. Our air intake is nowhere near where the water level is going to be. We've been here for a few minutes, let everything cool down a bit. We know the fan won't rotate when we get into the water because you can break fan blades easily doing that. So uh, we'll just take it easy, we should be fine. Now there are a few precautions with water crossings. You'll notice the seat belt is already clipped in place. This is the only occasion when you don't want to wear a seat belt. If we don't clip it in, it'll beep at us. Another thing we have to do is make sure the power windows are down. If the vehicle stalls, and it would need to be a lot deeper than this crossing, and the water started to come in, we want to be able to get out. You can't open a door against water pressure. So these precautions are necessary for all creek crossings, even shallow ones like this. We'll select low range. We know the bottom's firm, but we want maximum gearing here. And we'll put it in D because this transmission is smart enough to know what's going to work. With water crossings, you want to maintain at constant speed. You want a gentle bow wave in front of the vehicle, but not water coming over the bonnet. After a river crossing, Lift the bonnet and just check for any damage that might have happened. Check your fan blades and have a look in the air cleaner. Make sure there's no water in there. After that, you're good to go.